Hey folks, Captain Dave here. I'm up in the Jetty Wolf and it is hot. just back from a uh, trip where I took out some kids, grandpa, dad, three generations. Do it all the time. All summer long. Oh, look at this. I got birds landing in here. They want to be on the video too. A little female cardinal landing in here. Um, I just wanted to uh, go over a new addition inside the, inside the boat here. And I made mention of this on my blog, which is my fishing reports on my website, of a new addition, and it is the Yeti Hoppers. Let me point the camera down a little bit so you can see it. The Yeti Hopper. Man, if you're on YouTube, which I assume you are, since you may be watching this, you will see so many videos about, I don't know, soft-sided coolers is the big deal. I guess Yeti started it all with this. And when they start something, everybody has to follow, right? And they have to follow and make it cheaper, supposedly better. This is the first Yeti product I have. All my coolers I have gotten super deals on. All my hard coolers are all Ingle coolers. Okay, I can tell you honestly the only thing I really dislike about the Ingles is the latches to secure the lid. But that's an entire different subject, hard coolers. We're talking about soft coolers. And you'll see everything from testing, ice retention, all this stuff. Ice retention. Well, for a boater and a fisherman, all we really care about is ice retention is, you know, being a, a day or two or something, you know, um, enough to hold drinks or whatever. I've got two of these. And this one is de designated as a fish bag. No one on YouTube is talking about using it as a fish bag. I um, want to hit on some high points here of why I really like this. Okay, there's the ones called Arctic bags. They're out there. There's all kinds of videos about these cheapy Walmart ones that look great. I don't know, I can't remember who builds those of soft-sided coolers. But as far as a fisherman and being on the boat, I really like this Yeti. I put two of these, and I'll show you later, under my leaning post, and I've got 80 quarts of capacity, and it's like a divided cooler. It's like a cooler with two sections, okay? And they fit underneath my leaning post. I don't have, not, I don't have any coolers taking up any room. And when I had my boat built back here, I had ballroom dancing built back here. I mean, I got a ballroom. I got more room than a whole lot of boats. And I don't like coolers everywhere, you know, hard-sided coolers. So I decided to go this route. Now the next thing you're gonna to say to yourself is, he's got two of those? Oh my God, are those things expensive? Um, well, let's put it this way. Again, if you go on eBay and you really take the time and study, you can get deals on these. You know my theory, I don't pay MSRP for nothing. I don't pay manufactured suggested retail price, retail price for nothing, okay? Either I'm getting a deal or I ain't buying it. 
and a deal could be hundreds of dollars or could be 25 bucks. It depends. All right. Now, there's plenty of uh, videos that will tell you all about the Yeti, how it's built. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about why a fisherman would want one of these on their boats. It takes up less space. This is, a, this is the largest they make, a 40 quart. I like the bottom. It's got this really rugged bottom on it because why? I've got a deck in my boat that will eat through a pair of Crocs in one summer. My anti skid on, my, uh, on the deck of my boat will, is like sandpaper. This is tough stuff. It's made out of super tarpaulin material. But you know what? The big deal of this cooler, and the reason I went and got the Yeti hopper, is none of them seem to have really the same zipper. Zippers are, when you got a zipper, it really makes a difference how large or how tough the zipper is. Okay, and I'm going to give you the an explanation why. Supposedly, and this is full of water now, I secure this zipper. There's slushy ice in here. No water. No water leaks through it. This bag is 100% waterproof. Okay? One thing I really, really liked. You can't do that with the Wally's World one. Okay? I don't know if you can do it with any of the other knockoffs. But, it gives you this T-handle here. That's wired through. That's wired on to the zipper part. It's a T. They thought about it. Grab it, pull it open, okay? And it locks in at the very end, locks in. And the reason the zippers were so important to me is, let me show you. Okay, here's a Kingfish bag, a Kingfish tournament bag, all right? Now, this is a staple of a lot of people's equipment in the summertime in Florida. You catch a big old king mackerel like we did, just caught a 40 pounder about a week ago. First thing I did is I reached into my console and I pull out my kingfish bag. The worst thing that you can do when you grab your bag, or the worst thing that can happen is these zippers, which are tough, but it ain't the same zipper as that's on your Yeti hopper. Your zipper is stuck. Okay, I've had stuck zippers that inc get encrusted with salt water on kingfish bags. All right, so you got to keep it super lubed. Okay, you can find out all ways of keeping these zippers lubed all over the place on YouTube. But this zipper here is not the same zipper as here. So that's one of the reasons I wanted this. This is some kind of some kind of terminator zipper here, man. Let me tell you. Um, doesn't leak through, super tough. Just grab it and and pull it in, okay? So I'll show you how I have mine set up. I'm using this one as a fish bag. I used this as a fish bag yesterday. We stuck flounder in here. We stuck trout in here. Um, what else? Jack Cravals, because the guy wanted to keep him for shark bait on the beach. Now, n probably not would I throw a live sheep set in here. I mean, when I'm doing this, um, even the trout, the flounder, whatever, I'm dispatching them. What do you mean by dispatching? Well, I got this little hand scale here. And what I do is I take the fish and I drive that hook right between his eyes and I kill him, bam, brain dead, instantly. Okay, so I'm only putting dead fish in here. Would, would I put something super spiny in here like the sheep said? 
Probably not, but I'm not a huge sheepshead fisherman. Come winter, oh, this is going to be great. Throw a little eight-pound bag of ice in here. Boom, boom, boom. Throw my trout redfish in here. No problem. Uh, nobody on these videos really gets in depth and shows you what the interior of this. Let me turn the camera just a little bit down so you can see. This is some like clear, super duper thick plastic. Are the other ones the same way? I don't know. As far as ice retention and stuff like that, that's what everybody seems to talk about. I don't really care that much about ice retention. I'm wanting, yeah, a day or two. That's fine with me. And it does, it starts to melt. You can watch all kinds. I got two day old ice in here. There's tons of ice left. The water's so cold it'll freeze your hand. And one thing that I did when we even caught the kingfish, I threw a what a you know a 20 pound bag of ice on on it in my kingfish bag. And I even tried it in the Yeti. Here is let me show you what I carry. I've been carrying this on the boat. If you don't keep your uh, Maxwell House containers, I put a little la uh, a little piece of 100 pound test on there, keep my lid. Here's what I carry on the boat for when I really want to make things cold. Rock salt. Rock salt, folks. You take your fish and your kingfish bag, or even in here, right? And in the morning, you dump your 10 pound bag of ice in here, you throw your fish in there. I like actually to keep some water in here. I want to make a little bit of a slurry. You know, you have, you take two or three handfuls of that rock salt, and you throw it in here, you'll freeze your fish. I experimented around. I took my uh, other Yeti hopper over here and I threw rock salt in there on top of all my drinks which I always bring seltzer waters all right I go in there to grab them about two hours later my seltzer waters all blew up the can they, they froze solid and blew the cans open so from what I gather you know you mix you got a little water uh, ice you take two or three handfuls of this rock salt, you throw it in there, you're dropping it down to like 28 degrees, okay? And you can damn near freeze things. I mean, you can freeze a drink, you could probably freeze a fish if you really wanted to. So that's just something I did with the kingfish. And I mean, he was cold. I took this 40 pound kingfish, I threw him in my insulated fish bag dumped 20 pounds of loose ice on top of them, threw two or three handfuls, zipped that bag up and threw them up in the side of the boat over here. Man, when we got back, that kingfish was as stiff as a board and easy cleaning with a soft meated fish like a king mackerel. So I don't know if anybody knows about that. I bought a, you know, a big old bag of rock salt at Home Depot and I stick it in here and I keep it on the boat. So let me just show you my setup. My setup is very simple. I keep two of these Yetis, one for drinks, one for, I keep bait in here, okay? Um, I keep, put fish in here. That's the reason I got two. And I got a deal on both of them. I'm very satisfied with the deal that I got, okay? And I got two of these 40s. One of them I felt like I oh, kind of, I don't know. I didn't steal it from the guy, but he had a best offer, right? When somebody has a best offer on there, I'm thinking at least 10% right off the get-go. And I kind of banged on the guy, and um, we came to an agreement. And we were both happy on these coolers. Okay, so most definitely, you know, if you want to spend MSRP, yeah, go to a sporting goods store. If you don't want to spend MSRP, get one, free shipping, even on eBay, okay? Uh, best offer, 
talk to the people. See what they do. See what they can do for you. All right. So I'll show you what I'm doing with them. All right. Here we go. There's my leaning post. I used to keep a little tiny, you know, 25 quart angle under the there, or 30 or something, because it doesn't really fit that much. And now I got 80 quarts of, uh, you know, ice storage right under there. I keep the zippers pointed out. I zip it back. I reach in. I grab a drink. I pull it out. Zip it. Throw a, throw a trout in there, okay? And it frees up my boat, big time. Let me move my kingfish bag here. This is my little 14 gallon line. Right? That goes in the corner over here, it gets plumbed in. But I have all this ballroom dancing in the back of my boat and I wanna keep it that way. I don't want coolers back here, okay? The gunnels are very wide. You can sit on them. All right. So we got tons of room back here. And this right here is now working out for me perfect. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, I mean, that's not everything you need to know about a Yeti hopper. But as far as a fisherman is concerned, in the saltwater environment, I don't know if these other coolers have a zipper that's going to last because I can tell you if you don't maintain the zipper on a kingfish bag which is a pretty healthy zipper okay I can feel mine it's it's kind of slick okay you can put Vaseline on it people have said you know rub it rub it down with soap I don't know what the heck I used I've used about everything under the sun to keep this zipper nice and workable okay because once this thing gets all crusty with uh, salt you can't open it up and it's because the zipper here isn't like that zipper on that Yeti hopper I mean we're talking totally different animals and this has this little tab okay like most zippers do it's got this little metal tab all right, you break this and you're screwed. So that's what was my experience with zippers in the marine world. Okay, ice retention. I'm not going to do no ice retention test of a Yeti hopper. I'm talking about everyday life here. The bottom of it is extremely durable. Um, it's compact. Uh, the zippers lock closed. All right, let me lock that one closed. All right, you spray them off. That's easy to clean. Um, I'm not poo-pooing a hard cooler. I got an Ingle 80 up in front of my console. That's a seat. That's where everybody puts all their groceries when they go with me. All right, and when I say groceries, I mean groceries. More groceries than I've had in my house in the last month. So, um... Not really a comparison or anything, but it's the comparisons of the zippers that count. What it's made out of. This kingfish bag, you know, these, oh man, that's tough, that's tough. This stuff ain't diddly compared to what that damn Yeti hopper's made out of. So, if you want to spend a little more, or if you want to go cheap. You can go cheap and get that dang Walmart one. And it's funny because there's a guy who did a two-part test. He put his ice in it, did everything, and it's sewn inside, stitched inside. And the water got inside the cooler, inside the insulation, and he picked it up, and he dumped out the water and ice, and it was still sloshing around inside of it. So, I mean, come on. You know, you're either going to get the right thing, or you're just going to go get some cheap knockoff. I'm just like anybody else. I would rather not spend any money. Okay, but now I've got a cooler for lunches and bait and stuff like that, and then I got a cooler for fish because in the winter time, this this uh, in the winter time in the state of Florida, 
Really, what? I can stick 12, 12 trout and three redfish in here. Just a thought. Just a thought. If you've got a small boat and you don't want to use a cooler as a seat, you want a cooler that you can just kind of shove up under something or up under your front deck or something like that that's tough, it holds ice for days. It truly holds ice for days. You're going to get some melt, but then you get melt in a hard-sided cooler too, in a, in a Yeti or a Arctic or a, or a Grizzly or an Ingle. You're going to get melt, okay? So I don't know what everybody's all crazy, ice retention. 99.9% .9 of the dang people aren't loading up their SUV and going into the woods for three or four weeks, you know? I mean, most everybody I know who lives in a city in Jackson, in like Florida, like Jacksonville, ice one or two days. Now I've got today, I just got done with a trip where I used the same ice from yesterday. Tomorrow I'm off. And then I got another uh, trip the next day. The ice that I have right now might still be good then. Of course, it's underneath this carport and it's not out in the blazing sun. So there's my show and tell of the Yeti Hopper 40 slash fish bag.